Are your investments on Sharesies growing and now you're wondering how to access your hard-earned profits? In this guide, I'll show you the whole process of withdrawing your money from the Sharesies platform so you can enjoy the fruits of your investing labor. Firstly, you're going to need to sell some shares of the company you've invested in. So depending on what country you're selling your stocks from, you're gonna have a different delay in terms of how long you have to wait to have access to that money. So it varies between the three different countries that Sharesies offers. So we're talking New Zealand, Australia, and America. So I'll just run you through the different time zones for each of these. So firstly, New Zealand is the easiest. It's your native time zone. And the NZX or the New Zealand stock market is open between 10 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. And that's Monday to Friday. Australia is quite easy. There's about a two hour delay. And if it's daylight savings in New Zealand, this can vary a little bit. And it's again, a Monday to Friday setup as well. And lastly, America is gonna be open when most people are asleep. So that's between 2 a.m. and 10 a.m. And it's open Tuesday to Saturday. So it's closed Sunday and Monday. So just keep that in mind when you're making your investments. America is gonna have the biggest potential time delay because of the variability on when it's open. So once you understand all those different time zones and you can anticipate how long it's gonna take for those shares to hit your account, then you have to provide a nominated bank account. So to do this, you just have to send Sharesies a screenshot or a photo of a bank account that has your name and address on it and obviously has the bank account number at the top. So a bank statement from any internet banking app is gonna be great. You can just screenshot it and send it through to them, but they just have to have a verified bank account they know is in your name so they know exactly how to safely transfer that money to you. So once you've done that, we'll jump over to the Sharesies platform and show you the process of what it looks like to sell your shares. So firstly, you're gonna need to go to your investments and currently you can see I've got about $220 in my portfolio. So I'm just gonna scroll down and then go to the NZX50, which is what I have most of my money invested in. So then after that, you just need to click on it and then scroll down to the bottom and it's gonna have the sell option there. So just click on that and then it's gonna give you a couple of different selling options. So there's market sell and limit sell. So market sell is just where you're going to be selling the shares of that company at the current market price. So the NZX50 is about $2.20 per share. So you're just selling those shares at that $2.20 rate. And then there's also a limit sell order. And this is essentially when you are setting the price where you want the shares to be sold. So if you thought that the NZX50 was gonna drop to say $2 and you only wanted to sell your shares when it had that drop in value, you can also set a price notification as well. So you could say, ask Sharesies to give you a notification when the shares drop to say $2.10. So then you're notified that the share price is coming down and then you'll be aware or you have a bit of warning that your limit sell order is gonna be placed, potentially if you had set it at $2. So limit sell order is a little bit more complicated. It's more so when you're buying some shares of a volatile company, maybe you invested in a meme stock. I personally did this with GameStop because it was really volatile. It had a huge run, went up over 1700% in a few weeks, but then shortly after that, it came down over 80%. So it was very, very risky. It was pretty much just gambling. But when you're investing in something really speculative, then a limit sell order is good because it can protect your money because you might say put in i did this as well i set up a sell order where if the price of the gamestop shares were going to fall by 10 percent or more then they would automatically be sold so that five grand investment would at least have a bit of a safety net around it if you're putting your money into something nice and stable like an etf then don't worry about it it's it's going to be a lot more secure and it's not going to have those real volatile changes in price so then once you have all of that set up i'm just going to go with market sell order that's going to be the easiest option for us so then we just want to pop in the number of shares that we want to sell so i'll just sell all of them i'll sell all 99 shares then hit review and then it's going to give us a breakdown of the fees so we're going to be charged four dollars in fees and it's a 1.9 percent fee for buying and selling your shares but there's a bit of a threshold on how much you're going to have to pay or how your fees are calculated. But for the most part, up to a bit over $1,000, you're always going to have to pay 
1.9% fee. So we click on the sell option down there and then it's going to take a few business days for that to get processed and I'll jump back on and show you what it looks like once that money is available. So we can see that the sell order is placed. You're not going to have access to those shares straight away but again about three business days for that to happen. So now we're going to hop over to Sharesies and go to our wallet and then on the left side of the screen and hit the withdraw option. So now those shares are going to be available and you can see it there $215 for that we have access to in our wallet so we'll click on that and then you have to make sure that you set up your bank account to withdraw your money into and you can see it down the bottom there and if you haven't done this already as I said earlier send them through a bank statement with your name address and bank account number on it and then they'll verify it and you can withdraw your money straight into your own personal bank account so then after that we just want to click on withdraw and then it's going to again take about two to three business days for that money to hit our own personal bank account. So we'll let a few days pass and then I'll show on screen what it looks like when the withdraw option shows up in your bank account. The PayYE says shares is normally limited when the funds hit your bank account. If you're thinking of withdrawing your money, you should leave a good five business days for the process to actually take place from selling your shares to having the option to withdraw your money and then actually waiting for that money to be sent to your bank account. It's not a quick process and you can't really speed it up too much. So do always leave about five business days. You're not going to be able to instantly withdraw your money and have it in your bank account. It is a lot quicker to withdraw the money and then reinvest it on the Sharesies platform because there's no delay between transferring the money from your wallet to your personal bank account. So if you just want to sell your shares and move it to a different stock or ETF, then that'll take about two to three business days depending, but that's much quicker than withdrawing the money straight into your bank account. So now that you know how to withdraw your money from Sharesies, there's still a lot of other things that you need to be aware of to effectively use the platform, like knowing the best stocks to buy, the best investing strategy, and knowing exactly how to take advantage of the additional Sharesies features, like the high interest savings account and the ability to manage your KiwiSaver via the Sharesies platform. If you wanna see a complete step-by-step -step guide for all of these things then make sure to check out this video on screen that'll show you the full guide on how to use Sharesies properly.